Hey, what's up family? Welcome back to a new video. And in today's video, you're in for a treat. We're hanging out right here in the beautiful city of Douglasville, Georgia. You do not want to miss this video. All right, sit down, relax, and let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time here on the channel, allow me to say hello. My name is Raymond and I am a real estate broker here in Metro Atlanta and I work with buyers and sellers that are looking to relocate to Metro Atlanta as well as working with those individuals that are already here in Metro Atlanta buy and sell. So if you're looking to buy or sell real estate, I would love to schedule a consultation with you to get your home search started uh, and determine if we would be a good fit. All right. Um, I love what I do and I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, so if you want a realtor that love what they do and know what they're doing, give me a call. So what's going to happen in today's video is I'm going to take you into a few of the homes here in the estates at Hurricane Point. Uh, and I'm going to show you them. This will be a series. All right. Which means the videos will be rolled out on the following schedule today, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So you'll get to see three different floor plans here in the estates at Hurricane Point, all right? So if you're interested in an executive home with minimum one acre lot, three car garage, three sided brick, in a community with a super low HOA, $300 a year, um, and away from all of the congestion and traffic, then this video series <laughs> here at the estates at Hurricane Point is something that you wanna tune in for, all right? Also, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen. Please, right down there. If you have not hit it, let's hit it. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers before the end of February. We can do it. We're at like 19.6 something, all right? So help me get us to 20,000 subscribers. Go ahead and hit the button. It don't cost you anything, all right? So we're gonna turn around and get started with the first house. It's gonna be the one in the, the furthest one here in the back, that one there. Um, and then we're gonna wrap up uh, with this series on Friday, showing you the last home. Now, all of these homes are available for sale today, all right? Now, incentives. The builder is given a $20,000 closing cost incentive um, for these particular homes, okay? So if you wanna know any information about these homes, give me a call if you're unrepresented, all right? Now, if you have your own agent, I can't help you here. I do not work for the builder, okay? So my whole goal is to represent you as the buyer on these particular homes, okay? So if you have your own agent, do not call me pertaining to this video because I can't help you, all right? Um, yeah, so let's have some fun this week. I hope you guys continue to watch the series all the way through. Uh, so I'm gonna be quiet, turn the camera around, and we're gonna start looking at some real estate, baby. My job is to tell you what I uh, think about the homes in my candid perspective and how they compare to some of the other homes that I've seen and sold. Not only am I a great content creator, guys, I sell real estate every day. All right, so a lot of times, you know, you can watch people on YouTube, but they ain't selling no houses. That ain't me, okay? I sell homes. I represent my clients and they win, all right? So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, family, let's get started with uh, this floor plan in front of us. Uh, this is gonna be the Cleveland floor plan. Let me go ahead and give you the specs on it right now. It's a five bedroom, four and a half bathroom. Square footage comes in at 3,820 square feet. It does have a unfinished basement and the offer price is $734,900. It is sitting on a one plus acre lot. Um, and so, yeah, uh, this one is really, really nice in the inside. Uh, three car garage, as I said before, three sided brick. Um, and uh, this one does have all of the bedrooms upstairs. As you can see on the lot, um, pretty private. There are lots in front of this house that are for sale. Uh, nothing has uh, been developed on those lots as of yet, but it could happen. And then panning to this side, I wanted to show you the privacy, uh, the natural tree line privacy between uh, lots uh, eight and nine. 
Um, and then I wanted to take you over here to show you the garage and to show you how the slope behind it is. Um, it is a basement lot, so the topography is elevated. Um, and so the, the driveway is also elevated. So you have a little bit of a fall there um, at the end of the driveway. So uh, if you have uh, issues with just kind of that being like, a thing where you're like oh man what if i come back too far the grade is not like the car is gonna particularly get away from you but if you're concerned about that you may want to put up some type of some type of border there to stop you from going you know that way uh one thing i do like i do love the brick color uh here on this particular house um and this one also has a really nice front porch which you'll see here in a moment um and a lot of my clients are interested in porches when they move to georgia because that's one of those southern charm things right uh one of those things one of those things you associate with southern lifestyle so this one has a really really nice um uh, front porch and it also has a lot of it feels it feels less cookie cutter than an average production home and one of the things about um when you don't have the budget for custom uh, one of my goals are to try to find your home that can uh, not feel cookie cutter uh, and have some of those uh, little you know i guess uh, different uh features that can make the house feel less cookie cutter as you uh go through it uh, like the lanterns here up top on the porch um, is another one of those things that's, you know, most production builders just put the disc lighting and that's it. Um, so the, it just gives you a lot more of the uh, charisma and bring about a little bit of a charm uh, to the house. So I'm going to take you inside and we're going to get started and showing you around. All right, so the entry foyer is pretty nice and open. Um, immediately you're greeted by your, your dining room there. One of the things I do like uh, so far is the natural light. You got a lot of uh, light getting into this front foyer with the door choice and the, also the transient light over the top. Really nice. Solid surface floor throughout the main level. So this room, it looks like the dining room, right? Like it could have been the dining room, but it's not. It's like a formal living room or flex area because behind this room, you'll find the formal dining, okay? So the formal dining is actually tucked behind the formal living, uh, which is nice, it's different, you know? Uh, but the floor choice, in my opinion, is really nice as well on this particular house. Again. This one is available for sale. So the whole goal is for you to look at it through the lens of if you're in the market, this could be your house. Now, I don't know if the color is gonna pop too well on the camera. It's looking good so far from what I can see, but the color is navy, okay? If you're wondering what color the cabinets are, and it's top and bottom, same color, okay? Really nicely done kitchen, very big. I'm gonna give you a different view of looking in from the family room. We just walked through the dining but that's the uh, full view from the family room that you'll see, okay? Uh, Three-piece kitchen, which is really nice. You got the modern form sink, stainless steel, really nice accent there, uh, with a nice southern window at your sink. <laughs> I don't know if that's a southern thing, but I do know that most of my clients really enjoy having a uh, window at their sink, and personally, I do as well uh, for my own house, so um, yeah. Nice uh, backsplash with the uh, freestanding or suspended range hood, which is nice. Um, the community, FYI, is totally electric, so there's no gas in this community. So if you are a lover of gas, then this is not the community for you because there are no active gas lines. Now, there are some things that you could potentially do. I did have a client that had that, had that request once before, um, and we had a plan to... Uh, you know, kind of still overcome that challenge. Let's get this light on for you for the pantry. Uh, this pantry is a actual room. It's a small room. You can actually walk into it. So it's a walk-in pantry. Shelving is not the greatest quality for the price point, I will say. I'll be honest. 
uh, but that is the standard pantry uh, for the property. All right. Now, pointing you back through the foyer, the stairs are centrally located right in the middle of the home. It's got a, uh, a wraparound staircase as, as well, so which I prefer. <laughs> I do. I, I think that the straight up and down stairs can become. Uh, it can burn you out. And then down this corridor, you have your garage and your powder room. All right, let's get you in there. Um, first, right off the corridor, you have a, a closet, coat closet. Okay, so although you have the basement door right off the foyer, which is here, uh, you do have a coat closet there. Okay, then the next door you have your garage. This is a three car garage, pretty nice size. It is a true three car garage. You can put three vehicles in here. Uh, there is no obstructed areas either, okay? Um, I really love when builders don't take away from my square footage. Um, if you're gonna say it's a three car garage, I need to be able to put three cars in it and you need to make it so that I can. So they did a great job with placing the hot water tank in an area that you cannot hit either, okay? <laughs> uh, being a real estate broker here in Atlanta for the last 11 years, I've seen a lot of stuff that builders have done, okay? And not all of them have been smart decisions, I'll just be frank, okay? Uh, you do have you know, two stairs or three stairs here to get into uh, the home, so if mobility is an issue, then just kind of keep that in mind. And then right off the uh, end of the corridor, you have your powder room uh, and a mud area, okay? Uh, that's, you know, pretty a pretty popular feature nowadays. So this home does come standard with that, all right? I'll get you into uh, the pantry here in a sec. All right, so the powder room does have a freestanding pedestal sink, so no vanity. Uh, this home hasn't been finally cleaned either, okay? So it's, a, it's, it's, it's finished construction, but before you close, you'll do, of course, a uh, first walkthrough to identify any trouble areas and uh, the home will be fully cleaned and all of that stuff, okay? <laughs> so keep that in mind, all right? So actually, before we go upstairs, let's take a look at the, um, the covered deck, okay? Which is really nice um, when you can have a deck that's covered. Now, this is not a small deck either, guys. You can, you can put a three-piece furniture set out here and be fully okay when it comes to space um, does have a ceiling fan there so um, electricity is up there uh, so if you wanted to tap off of that for like a TV or some sort you there, there's a possibility for that on the uh, covered deck that kitchen is just I mean that's it's beautiful to me I think so again I've seen a lot of builders make some decisions, but I've never quite seen this long of an island perfectly centered in between the three piece concept. All right, um, that's a little different. And the orientation uh, is focused in the kitchen. So if you do like your islands to be focused uh, into the family room, just keep that in mind. It's not focused that direction. Now, if you're prepping and you're cooking, you can still clearly see the family room, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, as we continue the series, I have not looked at any of the other homes, so I can't even speak to like comparison in real time <laughs> with you right now. So I'm gonna be seeing it with you for the first time as well, okay? So another great feature that I'm liking is completely wood stairs, okay? That is important because it continues to feel, the continuity of the, uh, the executive luxury feel is, is there, okay? Um, so let me give you the view of the landing. Pretty nice, I mean, it's not dramatic. Um, it's pretty, pretty standard, typical. You do have crown molding all the way through the common areas upstairs so like the hallway okay all right this is the first secondary we'll take a look at um it is a decent sized room it's a one of the smaller options uh up here 
but it does have a full bath, <laughs> believe it or not. Okay, so uh, I believe two or three of the secondaries have their own private bath, but again, we'll, we'll you'll see it with me, okay? Really nicely done, the same color cabinets in the kitchen is, is carried through, through the uh, bathrooms. Also, the ceramic tile is real, is this is not vinyl, um, and it carries from the floor to the surround of the shower, okay? Which is really nice for those of you that despise the fiberglass enclosures. I can confidently say I'm showing you a product without fiberglass enclosures. Look at Raymond. You better go, Raymond. All right, another thing, <laughs> that I like about uh, this. Uh, as I said, when I walk through the door, natural light, natural light, right? Natural light really makes a difference of how the environment feels. And I say that broadly, because in anything, if you put natural light in, it's gonna feel completely different from if it did not have a lot of light. Okay, even a car, um, you know, you can tell when the windows are smaller, uh, in a car, like for instance, the, those of you that like Camaros, right? Camaros have very, very small windows. So I can go from a Camaro to a Mustang and see the difference of how it feels from a light perspective. Okay, anyway, I'm going on a tangent. <laughs> All right, this is secondary bedroom number two. Forward facing, only one window in this room. This room is bigger. It is a full, mm, I guess rectangle but it's almost a square because it's pretty wide as well. Just as wide as it is long, okay? Full walk-in closet and another private bath, okay? Same tile, same color vanity. Um, that part feels exactly the same. Now, the laundry room is upstairs, okay? Uh, easier for the bedrooms to, uh, you know, to take the clothes out of the bedrooms. But to some people, they're like, no, there's no way. So, look, everybody got a preference. You, you have been made aware <laughs> for this particular plan, okay? Uh, we're going to skip the primary, which was right beside the laundry um, until, until we, you know, get done with the secondaries. Um, I believe this secondary has, so these, the next two secondaries have a Jack and Jill bathroom set up. So it has shared bathroom assets, okay? This is another really nice size rooms, room. This, this plan really has a lot uh, to offer when it comes to the size as well as the closets. Every closet in this house uh, has been pretty usable from a functionality standpoint. Uh, no step-in closets, no sliding doors or bifold doors. I mean, at this price point in the mid sevens, uh, you should definitely not have that. But again, you know, we have to see what the builder is offering to, you know, evaluate. Okay. So double vanities in here. There's no separation in the Jack and Jill, which I think makes it a lot more functional um, versus one long vanity in between two bedrooms. It it really, you know, kind of frowns, frown at the uh, sense of privacy or uh, yeah, the privacy aspect, okay? So same um, material of the tile through and through, okay? And then finally, we have our last secondary. Um, so they put in two little pocket windows there and a full-size window. Uh, the closet on this one is canter cornered, um, which is, you know, still a decent size closet for secondary. All right, let me give you a little view. Now, this one is on a little bit on the smaller side. I mean, but you can fit a queen-size bed in this room, okay? Um, let me walk towards the end here and then shoot back towards the door, which we'll walk out. So it is a, it's, it's a nice size room. Um, you can fit a queen size bed in here. Okay. Queen size bed can fit in every bedroom in this particular floor plan. Okay. 
So let's uh, end it on the high note. Well, we got the basement too, sorry. <laughs> I'll wrap y'all up real quick. Uh, so the primary suite here does have a tray ceiling. Uh, really nice open square. I mean, there's no sitting area in here though. Okay, so if sitting area is important, then you don't have it, okay, in this particular plan. Um, but double door entry, which is really nice, giving you that grander feel. Um, and I, put to, I, I like the bathroom, um, which hopefully you guys like it too. Um, it, it, it feels, so the, 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 what, how do I want what word I want to use for this, this, uh, tub cradle like it's like a surround cradle tub which is a little bit more of the old school because the freestanding nowadays is like it but this as you get closer i like it i feel secure i mentally i would feel secure in that uh in that tub but <laughs> it's all artificial but i'm just saying like it's, it's really nicely done so the vanities are separated on each side which is really nice as well um Really nice. Now the primary suite does change up on the tile, which is which I thought was really nice. Um, you know, the per the people that are paying for the house should have a little bit of a difference uh, in some sense. So that is the uh, bathroom. Now let's take a look at the closet structure in here. You do have his and hers closets um, on each side of the bathroom. Give you some perspective here on scale and i think it wraps yep so it, it goes a little bit more down here so it's a pretty nice size closet and especially once you put in your own shelving uh systems you can really get creative on these uh production um closets as far as the size maximizing the size that they've given you okay the tub is not jetted it's truly just a soaking tub okay and you do have the separate glass surround aluminum frame, but uh, it's, 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 no, it's okay. It's okay. You do have a bench, okay, and a cutout for um, some soap or bottles or anything like that products um, that you want to have in your shower. So I think it's a, it's a decent trade-off, okay. And it does go almost, <laughs> almost to the ceiling. So I guess I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. All right, the last closet here, I guess this is his. <laughs> you know us fellas, we get, the, we get the bottom of the bottom, don't we? All right. <laughs> but you bring in that shelving system and, you know, maximize that space. And maybe if there is no his, you know, I, you know, yeah. to be fair, we gotta be fair, okay. And then there is a water closet across the way for uh, the toilet, which is really nice. There's no window in here, but yeah. I particularly like when there's a window in the, in the water closet, if possible, because from a, you know, it's just a better, a better, I guess, open feel. You don't feel so cramped and claustrophobic. I actually had a client we ain't gonna do no names because my clients still watch my videos, but hasn't been that long ago. <laughs> we went into a house and um, she said, there's no way, there's no way I can use that. I will feel so claustrophobic. So again, it depends on the, the person, you know, um, where water clauses are acceptable or they may be, they may be scary for some people that, you know, don't like to be in small spaces. So just keep that in mind. Now, I have to give it to Curly Family Homes, okay? Um, which I don't really do this a whole lot, okay? But look at this, guys. This is an unfinished basement, right? And look what they did. They still painted the stairs. That's wood, but they put a full wood top, okay? Full wood, full wood top, baseboards, and they painted this area, okay? Eight out of the, I would say nine out of the 10 builders would not do this. Okay, so that just shows you that that although it is production, they are trying to deliver the best the best product that they probably can. Okay, which I thought was really nice when I saw this. I was like, wow, that's like going the extra mile, right? So, really nice. 
Now this basement, oh my God. This basement is huge. Um, of course it's unfinished. So unfinished means no final plumbing. Well, let, let me say it like this. Rough plumbing, rough electrical, no ventilation. Okay, that's what unfinished means. So, of course, no walls. <laughs> so you have to come in and finish it completely. There is insulation in between the floors. Okay, but um, so, so yeah, that part is covered and you do have a electrical source, but you have to tap and uh, do all of that stuff. Okay, I am not for the sake of time going to try to paint a visual of this, this uh, basement for you. I'm just going to show you the canvas. Okay. I'll let your creativity do what it's supposed to do. Um, yeah. Okay. Now these exterior walls are not, I repeat, are not insulated. Okay. So this is a exterior wall right here. That's an exterior wall. So you definitely want to put in insulation on this side of this house, right? Uh, on any exterior, um, wall. Okay. Here is the rough plumbing. Okay here and it's a pretty big size room framed out so you can have a really nice bathroom there all right and then we have another big open area over here with the retainer wall okay and it's stair stepping uh, on this side here okay so there you go now finally let's take a look at the lot and then yeah, we'll put a wrap on this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. Uh, it's been really nice kind of going through it and showing you a little bit of the details here uh, of what uh, this community or this builder is offering Curly Family Homes. So we're actually back here now. Now, one of the things I will say, the you have a one acre lot, but they do not finish the full one acre inside. So out in this distance here is all grassies and pine straw and manual growth okay uh so i'm just pointing that out in in the case that you want to have one built i don't want you to think that you're going to get a one acre lot fully sodded also um this lot i don't know exactly how far it goes out right at this moment so we'll have to determine that so it does not it, it, it probably does not stop where the trees stop is essentially what i'm saying uh, so we have to look at the plat map to determine the full boundary lines, but it is a one acre lot, okay? So I'm gonna give you a view of the back exterior of the house, which is really, I mean, this community is so tranquil. Like it's really, really quiet out here. Um, so again, if you want that suburb, like I was, I would even just say rural because it feels very much so uh, rural but suburban because the homes are so developed out. Uh, but you're not very far from um, stuff. I would say about maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes from like a big shopping area, okay? Living here, okay? All right, so as you also you can see, they didn't cheap out either. They finished up under the doggone deck. I've seen builders, <laughs> you probably have seen it on my channel or seen it in your own research. They give you a little ledge right there by the door and that's it, up under your deck. And they say, bye-bye. <laughs> so, so again, quality, you know, that you're getting here, I think it's, it's, it's evident, okay? Um, I like it, it's a really nice house, okay? Very, very nice house. Okay. Yeah, so if you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. More videos just like this coming up. So how you're notified is by being a subscriber. YouTube sends you a message and you can come back and watch. All right, there's no cost to subscribe. So hit the button, become a part of my YouTube family. Help me get to 20,000 subscribers by the end of February. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. If you need me, Give me a call. See you soon.